Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. Please stop with the shaky vision, Daniel. Thank you. Anyway, we're here in the choir area where we just snuck past a monster, and we're not feeling too great. We're not feeling great at all. Then we ended up getting hit by a jump scare. The Iron Maiden opened up, showed us the blood. We walked into the room, we were like, what's that smell? Oh, it was the blood. Um, so, you know, all in all, not having a great time of it. But, uh, we are at least in a new room. Where we can hopefully find stuff that we need. To complete uh, our little uh, puzzle quest adventure. Holy vey. Somebody didn't have a fun time in there, I'll tell ya. Bones. Bones are nice. Bones are. Bones are part of a balanced breakfast? No, I don't think so. Hey, look at that! It's a glowing red thing. I wonder what it is. Piece of orb. Oh. Oh. How many pieces of orb are there? Piece of orb. Its texture and color are constantly changing. Really? Because the, uh, the symbol in the thing... Looks like the exact same shape every time I open the menu. And it's staying a red color. Nope. Okay, um, I might have come to the wrong area then. Because we're in the choir. We're definitely in the choir. But according to the notes, the choir is a fertile ground for this store. Should be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. Poisonous fungi. We need the poisonous fungi as a paralyzer, and that's supposed to be in the choir. And that's what I came to get. Because, uh, I thought the choir would not have torture places in it. I assumed the transept would have torture places in it. Because I don't know what the word transept means. There he goes again, there he goes again. He just referred to a her. He asked what happened to her. Who is the her that Daniel's so worried about? I don't know. I'm wondering. But anyway. Yeah, no, it's just, it's kind of weird, because, uh... How did we lose sanity? Because we picked up the orb, didn't we? Damn it. Stupid. Stupid orb. Made us lose sanity just because we picked it up. Or maybe because we tried examining it. I don't know. Whatever. I guess we'll try to sit in the light again for a minute while I talk to... Oh, maybe gain some back. I don't know. <sighs> but anyway. Yeah, I, I assumed, because I don't know what the hell a transept is. Um, I assumed that would be where the torture places are, but it appears that the choir is where the torture places are. And, uh... Where was it? What note was it? Shattered orb. Agrippa, try everything, anything, blah, blah. I think Agrippa mentioned that the orb was in the... Pieces of the orb would be in the torture chambers or something like that. That's why I came over here first, because I wanted to save the torture chambers for last, because I want to get Agrippa's tonic first. Sounds reasonable, don't it? Is this... Is this darkness enough to make us lose sanity or not? I'm honestly not sure. Um, okay, jumping down there is probably death. And great, now there is a glare on my window from the sun. Need to fix the blinds. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, crouch down, Daniel. 
You know what? We can light some of these torches. That'll give us light to sit in calmly. Yay, we got a bit of sanity back. Awesome. 14 tinder boxes. I'll keep that in mind. I don't know if the monster's still out here, or if it might have despawned. Because I don't... I'm not 100% sure on the rules for how the monsters work. Seems like they tend to spawn into an area, look around, you, look around for you for a bit. And then despawn. But even if that is the case, a hundred percent of the time, uh, that wouldn't necessarily mean that they can't simply spawn again. And there is a terrible glare on my screen. I tried. I just tried. Moving the shades. But it doesn't seem to have worked. There's still a glare on my screen, and it's making it very unpleasantly difficult to see anything. I'm trying to move around very cautiously and very slowly so that I can hopefully see the monster, if it is appeared, because let, let, uh, crap, I, I don't even remember if I managed to finish the freaking sentence that I was trying to say, which is simply that, uh, even if the monster despawns, I don't know if it can respawn. like that. I think it's moving around to different areas. There it is. Oh, don't look at it. don't look at it. Oh, jeez. Even from this far away, looking at it messes us up. But I need to know where it is. My insanity's still good. I don't know where it is for sure. Not knowing where it is is the worst thing of all. But I know that... I mean, I know for a fact that looking at it um, not only slightly lowers our sanity, but uh, also actually helps us, or helps it find us. When you look at monsters, they can sort of feel your presence. So if it so if we look at it, it would probably come right for us. Are we in darkness or not? I guess we must not be. For some reason, I guess those small amount of torches up high illuminate the area just enough that it's considered a, uh, what the hell was that? There's a real, like, cloud of dust right on the corner of the pillar.
Anyway, um... Fuck, what was I just talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... Really spooked. Hey, we got a little bit of sanity back. We're not even really standing in light or anything. Does successfully evading monsters perhaps return some sanity? I highly doubt it. If that is even possible, then uh, this would be the first time I've ever noticed it. Yeah, I don't... I feel like, uh... Yeah, this, this area... Because it, it does make a certain sound once you start spending too long in darkness. And I haven't been bringing up my, uh... Lantern. And it hasn't started playing that sound yet. So I guess... I guess we're fine still just, you know, understandably making me rather nervous, because I don't want to suddenly open my thing and be back down to the ellipsis, which is the, you know, lowest level of sanity available. And that, is that the fungus we need? I think it is. Yeah. Alright, we'll grab that in a second. Because if grabbing that would spawn a monster... Again. Then I don't want to do that just yet. And this is probably another torture chamber. I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's the general layout of this area. Maybe if I don't look at it, it won't do the jump scare. Oh, okay, I guess this just isn't a jump scare. Alright, never mind. Hey, piece of orb! Hmm. Well, there's the fungus. There's a... fucked up thing. There's a piece of orb. So we got a lot of stuff all in one place. Let's uh, grab the fungus first, I guess. The tissue is quite soft and should be possible to break, op to break open. Colony of poisonous fungi. Yeah, I'm trying to break it open. Do I need a... Oh wait, do I have to put it in the glass jar or something? Can I use this item this way? Oh, cool. Picked up poisonous gland. Or poison gland. Alright, cool. So we did get the fungus from in here. It's not just torture chambers. It's torture chambers and poisonous fungi. Uh oh. Okay, the trader did not know what to think of the brass bowl as he was forced to enter it. I know what the black brass bowl is all about. I've heard of this before. They used to do this in ancient Rome. I'm pretty sure. Maybe maybe it wasn't ancient Rome, but I've, I've heard about this type of torture before. Anyway, only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull below. Yeah. Basically, you open this, up this latch, latch here, you put somebody inside, you light a fi fire under it, the whole thing's made of metal, so it heats up, and it burns them alive. And doesn't even kill them quickly, because, like, if you were to light someone on fire, that would burn them alive, but it would kill them relatively quickly, because, of course, you know, like, their skin and everything would melt away, and they would be taking plenty of bodily damage throughout the event. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they'd be finished off within, 
know, a few minutes or whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure how long it would take. I've never burned anyone alive, and I've never been burned alive, so I don't know exactly how long it would take, but it would be not super long. They'd just, they'd, they'd burn and eventually die because they would take so much damage. Their body would be destroyed physically by the fire eating away at them. But in this case, you don't really get that effect because you're not directly being lit on fire. You're just being heated up a lot. So it's just super painful. And I'm honestly not sure what happens to people in this situation. I don't know if they start, like, melting or what. I don't know what happens to them. I just know it's incredibly painful and it would take a very long time. And I would never, in my wildest dreams, or nightmares, wish that kind of punishment on even my worst of enemies. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I just realized we can actually light this on fire. Would it actually do... I mean, there couldn't actually be somebody in there, right? If there was, surely they'd already be dead, or they'd, uh... You know... They'd be banging on the wall to be let out. But maybe we need to do this to complete a puzzle. Oh! made a sort of moo-like sound. God damn it, we lost sanity for that. I shouldn't have done it. Sorry, dude. You really could have said something, though. Whatever. Oops. Like I said, I would never do that to anybody. What the hell was that? the hell was with the red glow? Seriously, what the hell? It's texture and color are constantly changing. Yeah, they, they won't stay together. Did that actually solve a puzzle somewhere? And the, the weird red glow and the weird monstrous yell was the game's way of letting us know? I have no idea. Has a monster spawned? I hope not. But yeah, the general layout of this whole area seems to be... It seems to be in sort of like a giant cross shape, I think? With like bridges sort of connecting each uh, section. And, uh, yeah, oh, can't get up on there. Uh, insanity's all right. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's the second to lowest that it can be. But as long as it's not at its lowest then we don't get any majorly bad effects that I know of. Because like I said, when you're at the, uh, when you're at the ellipsis stage, your character can sometimes pass out. And... And, uh, become immobile. And if that happens when there's a monster around, then of course... You, you die. Obviously. Uh, nope. We do not appear to have to worry about that. A monster just spawned. I'm sure of it. Oh, there it is. 
spawn behind us, the bastard. Well, as long as we don't look at it, as long as we keep moving, we should be able to get away. I'm confident of this. So, of course, I turn around to look at it, because that's the smart thing to do. Of course. I always make the best decisions. Well, it seems to have despawned. Music stopped. So I assume that's what happened. I assumed it must have despawned because the music stopped. Because... That's what happens. Oh, hey, the buggies! Buggers are back. Nice to see you guys. I was wondering where you were. Not really. I could do without that. It's actually a pretty good effect, though. Like, it actually looks pretty... Realistically close to what you'd expect for it to actually look like if the bugs were walking across your screen. For keeping your victim still during the procedure, they can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Oh boy! Great! So, uh, I guess we'll be seeing the wheel, where people have super nasty stuff happen to them, uh, when we come back for the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one now, and I will see you all later. I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye. <laughs>